Hello there, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Capricorn? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Oh, Cappies. What's going on, Cappies? I was wanting to sing, we're in the money. We're in the money. What are you doing, Capricorns? What's up? Let's throw you a song. Let's throw you a song. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Capricorn Collective. Now, Capricorn, Gemini had the same thing, only Gemini's fell on the floor. You all kind of stayed here uh, on the table. But will you love me tomorrow? Oh, are these going to be sad sobs? Love songs, Cappies, what's going on? Nothing I can do, total eclipse of the heart, somewhere over the rainbow, oh my god. When you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. Oh, this is cheesy as fuck. Uh, stop and think it over. Try to put yourself in my unique position. If I get stoned to sing all night long, it's a family tradition get along on down the road we've got a long long way to go okay uh, <laughs> uh. okay we kind of got a choice of love here and then we got somebody that's like hey you know what yeah don't blame me it's my upbringing uh <laughs> Uh, I don't stick around. I, I'm not going to be around. I'm not going to, I can't give you what you need. Someone here could be needing love, but you're incapable of it, or that's not exactly how you operate. Uh, Capricorn, this could be you saying that to somebody. This could be somebody saying this to you. Someone wants love, and someone was just uh, maybe looking for a little bit uh, of a fun time. Someone wants respect here. You're not going to put out unless you know they're going to respect you the next day, right? Ain't a damn thing wrong with that either, Capricorn. You're like, yeah, you ain't getting the fucking cow or the milk for free, buddy. You got to buy the fucking cow. So, Cappies, that's interesting. I like it. The Hierophant and Judgment. So, you have some morals. Okay. Stand your ground on that. If there's something that you you definitely believe in, Cappies, stand your fucking ground on it. You don't know nobody's shit. You don't know nobody's shit. If, if, if they can't respect your boundaries on that, they can't respect your beliefs, then you know what? You don't need them. You end it. Especially when it comes to maybe relationships. Maybe when it comes to sex. Maybe when it comes to dating. You're like, you know what? Um, are you going to respect me in the morning or what? Because I just ain't going to put out for anybody. Yeah, this is when you win, when you just stand your ground. Uh, and that's your personal boundaries. That's your personal preference. That is just what works for you. Right? Doesn't have to work for everybody, but it works for you, Cappies. So, you know what? Stand your ground on that. I love that, Capricorns. Sassy and classy. Ace of Wands. Mm. Seven of Pentacles. Uh, someone could have been trying. Someone can be trying or has been trying for a while to maybe uh, get some sex. Get get something off of you. Uh, this could be pressuring. Maybe someone wants to take their relationship a little further, but you're just not comfortable with it yet. Uh, you know, I mean, how many dates to constitute before you put out, right? Uh, this is a just standing your ground. You know, if you've changed up your energy and you're actually dating people that, you know, you're actually thinking long term, you might hold off a little bit. Some of y'all, maybe it's six months, maybe it's seven months. Who the fuck knows, right? You're like, if you if, if you think I'm worth it, you're going to put up the time and effort. If not, you know, bye. Uh, there's no loss for me. Yeah, you're, you're able to move away from situations. You're not stuck anymore. 
if you, uh, you know, this is like if someone pressured you to do something that you didn't want to do, you're not really worried about necessarily appeasing people. If it goes against your boundaries, if it goes against uh, the, the sort of wall that you have up, the, the like the red flag energy, someone could be trying to test that. The chariot. Someone could want to move a little faster than you want to, and you're just going to have to trust your guts and guidance on this. Is this the person you want to do that with? You know, when you set the boundaries, and for some of you, if this is the first relationship that you've actually been thinking about since maybe you've come from something a little bit uh, bad, so now this is the first time you kind of drew that proverbial line in the sand, and someone could be trying to kind of get you to um, just move a little faster than you want to. Because you might think this person is just player energy. And for some of you, maybe it is, right? I really just feel like someone's, someone's just trying to, to, to see if they can get you to sort of break in a way. Uh, they're like, oh, I know Capricorn do that line in the sand. But you know what? I have my ways. Do I think it's a nefarious energy? I don't think it's like that. I think someone's just... This is kind of the first time maybe in the relationship or whatever the hell this is. It could even be a friendship, uh, Capricorns. The someone's going to try to see how much pull they have over you. Someone's going to test to see how quick you're going to cave in to sort of uh, peer pressure. You know what I mean? Can they lay a guilt trip on you and is that going to get you to change your mind? Or are you like, you know what? I told you this is the line in the sand. Okay, this is the boundaries. This is the parameter that we're operating in. If you can't respect that, then you know what? You can go. So I feel someone could just be trying to test you. Some of y'all know you're going to have that test and you're going to have to decide what the fuck you're going to do. Especially when it comes to your heart and your emotions. If you started dating somebody and maybe you're thinking this person is the one. Oh, you know, maybe you're thinking if you don't put out, you don't give in to this person, they might fucking run off and go somewhere else. But if it's really meant to be, then they're going to respect your boundaries. They're going to work within the parameters that you set and you working within theirs to Capricorn because you could revert this energy too if you're going to try to uh, just assert and uh, dominance to see if someone's going to kind of cave into peer pressure. Uh if it's love, they're going to respect it and you're going to be able to make it work. They're going to respect your decision. Five of Swords here. I really feel this is just someone trying to test the waters. Knight of Wands, and it could be if you've set boundaries in a uh, as far as sex goes in a relationship, I'm going to put it in the sexual route. Just because this person just, it's like someone's going to see that if they can have that effect. If you can really hold out. Now, for some of you, this is going to be a good test of your willpower to see if you are able to set boundaries and actually respect the own your own boundaries that you set for yourself. This is kind of this person trying to, you know, see if you're going to budge on the boundaries that you set. But now this is also a chance for you to see if you can set healthy boundaries and if you're able to, you know, listen to your own fucking advice. I like that, Cappies. The Empress. The Empress. You know what? You you have to work to get this piece of ass. You have to work to be in the Empress's presence. Right? The Empress is the one that kind of decides how shit goes. Um, for some of you, this is maybe trying to push things a little uh, uh, further sexually in a in a relationship that you think there is uh love uh, some of you could be th saying you know what I'm, i don't plan on putting out for at least six to seven months this could be something you're going to make sure someone's going to have the willpower before you know you do anything uh it's not like oh four or five dates in you're like you know what from the get-go you could be like you know i promised myself i'm going to wait months six or seven months um uh, so 
Are you going to be able to handle that, Capricorn? <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the truth. That's going to be your test as well. You know, you can't always look at these things as being someone else being negative. Sometimes if you're going to draw that line in the sand, you've got to be able to see if you're able to uh, uh, respect the boundaries that you set for yourself that you expect other people to respect for you. I like that, though. This, this feels more like a, a test just to see if, if you got the willpower yourself, okay? Um, <laughs> Seven of Swords. Did you learn the fucking lesson or not, bitch? Uh, what's going on here? <laughs> I like this. I think this is going to be lighthearted. I don't think this is really going to be an issue. I think it is sort of just someone trying to... Uh, I want to say assert dominance, but just in a way to see if you can actually uh, hold up your end of the deal. If you could actually hold up your end of that bargain. You know what I mean? Especially if you were playing all hard to get. You were, you know, talking one way and then this person's just going to see if you actually mean it or if you're just uh, talking shit. Because someone could actually be trying to call your bluff. Like, oh, okay, you, you really think? We could have this relationship for six months and, and not do anything physically. They could be like, you know what? Let's just test Capricorn and see if Capricorn actually uh, uh, has the willpower themselves. I like this. This feels like a matched energy. Uh, it's just sort of that uh, a little bit of feisty uh, gameplay. Because, you know, someone could be testing you just to see if you actually do mean what the hell you say. And for some of you, that's going to be the chance to see if you can actually set the boundaries and keep them in place. And not, you know, in a moment of weakness, just throw caution to the wind. Um, you know, for someone, they're going to respect you if you actually hold up to that. Uh, six to seven month rule. So I'm liking that, Cappy. So I'm not feeling that's a negative energy. Uh, for some of you, it could just be a test to, to make sure that you can set boundaries and keep them, especially if you just started really getting into a situation with somebody that, you know, the boundaries uh, you're going to have to be able to kind of enforce and for yourself as well. Uh, this isn't just we're not dogging anybody here. This is just you set the boundaries. You set the bar, you told this person what you wanted, and, you know, are you going to respect what you said? Uh, that could be kind of the comeback energy. So I like that, Capricorns. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ling a ling. I, I think it's a fun energy. And, uh, it's going to be a test for you. You set the boundaries. This is what you said the rules were. But are you going to abide by your own fucking rules, Cappy? Are you? <laughs>